everybody. Welcome back to the Everyday Living Recipes with Love podcast. This is the second episode, and here we are today to discuss our new recipe for the day, which is taco soup. It's still kind of that time of year for soups, still kind of chilly in the mornings, especially in spring too. I love crock pot meals. They are so easy. I don't think this one is a crock pot meal though, but I have so many recipes that I could share with you on this episode too of some crock pot soup recipes that we have. They are so delicious. My favorite soup probably is our potato soup, but we use hash browns in it. It is so delicious. So today I can share that recipe and this taco soup recipe and we will get started. So first we're going to start with the taco soup recipe. I hope everybody has had a fabulous week. This recipe is super simple, but you do use it on the stovetop, not the crock pot. But if you know how to like switch it to the crock pot, you probably could do it in a crock pot. But you'd have to like cook your hamburger first and then put all the ingredients with it in the crock pot. It could work. Everything can be a crock pot recipe. So we are going to talk about that recipe first. And I have never tried a taco soup. I'm pretty picky about what's in my soups. And this recipe has like onion and corn. Now corn I don't mind in some things. Um, And then it does have some stewed tomatoes. And I'm not really a big fan of stewed tomatoes or tomatoes in general. I do like tomato sauce or like spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce like marinara sauce. I like all that but I just don't like chunky tomatoes and because we're all pretty picky but and then this calls for Rotel tomatoes and green green chilies too so it's not my bag (laughs) and then you know kidney beans and pinto beans but there's people out there that really would like it so I'm gonna share it anyway um I'm sure if you took all that out, it wouldn't have the same taste at all. So I'm not trying it. But I'm sure we could add some other stuff in there, though. I might look into that and see if I can add what we like in there and maybe do something other than the beans. That might be a fun little thing. I could create my own taco soup recipe for picky people. (laughs) But who else is picky? I've met a lot of people that are as picky as me, and I'm very surprised. I thought I was the only one that was so picky, but I'm not. So I didn't feel so alone after I seen that. So um, for this recipe, we're going to just start out with the uh, list of ingredients. And then we're just going to, oh, it is a crock pot. Ooh, okay. I messed up. It is a crock pot one. This is for the crock pot, guys. It's even easier. I thought it was for stovetop. I did not read the bottom. I'm so sorry. So it is the crock pot. So you are going to put this in the crock pot. You're just going to brown um, a half a pound of, it says 90% fat free hamburger. I'm assuming they're saying that because of the crock pot. Usually you drain the grease. I usually don't drain the grease. Sometimes I leave it in there for flavor, but When you're doing it in the crock pot, you kind of want to drain the grease because it gets all that grease in the rest of the food, which some people don't like, some people do, but you're only going to do a half a pound of that. So it says brown the hamburger, and then you're going to put onion and garlic powder in with the hamburger. So that must just mean... Okay, one large onion chopped. So you're going to do a half a pound of 90% fat-free hamburger. You could use any hamburger, I'm sure, but they want you to use a leaner one for this recipe. Um, And then you are going to do one large onion and garlic powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. So you're going to put that all together, and then they want you to drain off excess fat on that um, if you have any. Some of the 90% doesn't have much. I've, ma- I've bought that kind of hamburger before. And it doesn't have much fat to drain, but it says here, just drain it anyway, if you want to. Sometimes a little fat's not very bad, and it, it's actually pretty good. 
Um, and then you're going to add a 15 and a half ounce can of corn. I'm assuming just the regular can. I I'm, I'm, wouldn't do sweet corn in this. Now, I guess if you wanted to put a spin on it, but I don't think that would taste very good. I'm assuming there's only two cans of corn. I don't know. Two kinds, you know. So you're going to add that. And then you're going to add a 14 half ounce can of diced stewed tomatoes. So diced and stewed. I don't know what that means. I don't buy tomatoes. So you do what you do on that. I don't know. And then, <laughs> oh, it's two cans. Okay, so I messed that up. Sorry about my mistake. This podcast will have mistakes in it all the time. I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> okay, so um, we are going to add two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced stewed tomatoes. That's the correction. Two cans. <laughs> And then you're going to add one can of Rotel tomatoes and green chilies, one 16-ounce can of pinto beans, one 16-ounce can of kidney beans, one package of taco seasoning. Then you're going to add, this is going to be really good in it actually, one packet of ranch dressing mix a half a teaspoon of pepper, one and a half cup of water, and then a one four ounce can of diced green chilies. Now that says it's optional. I'm sure all these beans are optional though. If you don't like kidney beans, you don't like pinto beans, I'm sure you cannot add them. But I'm assuming like the diced tomatoes and like the Rattel would probably be a must because you wouldn't get the flavor of a taco that they want you to get. So then, of course, you're adding this to the crock pot. Remember, we figured out this is a crock pot recipe. <laughs> so you're going to add all those ingredients. I'll, I'll do the ingredient list one more time. And then you're going to simmer on medium heat for 30 minutes. Or you can put in the crock pot for the rest of the day. So there is instructions if you just want to cook it in the skillet too. Um, I'm sorry for all the mistakes on this podcast, but they're kind of funny to just leave the mistakes in because nobody's perfect. So there is ingredients for both. So basically, if you want to put it in the crock pot, you just brown the hamburger, the onion and the garlic powder, drain it, put it in the crock pot with the rest of the ingredients. And you just put it on, I don't know, maybe low because it says medium heat for the skillet. So if you have to go to work or something or do something for the rest of the day, I think it would do pretty good on low for the rest of the day. So I'm going to do the ingredients again since I did a mistake. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of these on here, but nobody's perfect. So here's the ingredients one more time. So it's a half a pound of 90% fat-free hamburger or whatever fat hamburger you like. If you like the 80%. Um, whatever fat contact that you like to eat. One large onion chopped, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one 15 half ounce of canned corn, two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced stewed tomatoes, one can of Rotel tomatoes and green chilies, one 16 ounce can of pinto beans, one 16 ounce can of kidney beans, one package of taco seasoning, one package of ranch dressing mix, half a teaspoon of pepper, one half a cup of water, one four ounce can diced green chilies. Now that one says it's optional, but whatever you want to put in here for flavor. Then you're going to brown hamburger, onion and garlic powder in a, in a pan and drain off excess fat. Now, like we said, you could just cook this all together at one time when you get home from work or you could do the browning of the hamburger and put it in the crock pot the rest of the day. So whatever option is good for you. So, and then you're just going to, if you're doing it on the stove, Again, you simmer on medium heat for 30 minutes, and it's done. 
So, you know, it really does sound good, but I just wouldn't like the beans in it. So I might twerk this recipe a little bit to how I like it. Okay, so that's the taco soup recipe. Now, I'm assuming that everybody loves tacos on Taco Tuesday, so why wouldn't you like the soup? Um, I love tacos. Lately, we've been getting into steak tacos. I love them so much. We use stew meat, and we just put them in the skillet, and sometimes in the crock pot, and we just put, uh, usually, actually, we don't just put taco seasoning. Now, we have done that before, and it's really, really good. But lately, we've been buying the seasoning for fajitas, and we put it on there, on the stew meat. It is so good. And that's what we have for tacos. It gives it like this lime flavor. It's so, so, so good. So I'm getting off topic. Sorry. Now I'm going to share my recipe of a hash brown soup. Well, it's called like a potato soup recipe that I mentioned in the beginning of the episode that I would share with you as well for the crock pot. Crock pot meals are so easy, especially when you're working or have a long day of doing things. It's ready when you get home, and it smells so good in your kitchen. <laughs> so I just call it a hash brown soup recipe. So you get your crock pot out, and uh, I usually use liners in my crock pot because I do not like cleaning mine out. Uh, some people don't like using them, and that's all your choice, whatever you want to do. But I put a liner in, and... First thing you do is put one bag of hash browns in. I usually get mine from Walmart. Great value. <laughs> I love great value stuff. It is so good. And it's a little cheaper. Then you're going to add one and a half cups of sharp shredded cheddar cheese. Now you could put any kind of cheddar that you want in there. I preferably like the sharp cheddar. It has such a good flavor. And to me, it brings out the flavor in the soup so well. Then you're going to add one box of chicken broth, low sodium or whatever you prefer. Um, sometimes I will use low sodium. Sometimes I won't. It just whatever you prefer or maybe you're on a certain sodium restriction or diet or whatever from your doctor, then use low sodium. But usually just depends with us. And then you're going to add one can of cream of chicken. And then you're going to get one block of cream cheese. You're going to soften it a little bit and add it to the mixture. And you're just going to mix that all together. And you're going to cook that on high for three hours only. So if you're leaving the house, you could put it on low and it would cook a little, you know, lesser time than three minutes. And you probably would be fine. So I would just put it on low. You'd probably be okay. But if you're going to put it on high, make sure you're home for the three hours that it has to cook because it will burn. I have done that before. I'm sure everybody's had their little mistakes or mishaps or flops with dinner. And that was one of mine. So just a fair warning there. I will uh, repeat this again for people who need to write this down that didn't. Um, hash brown soup recipe for the crock pot. You need one bag of hash browns, the frozen hash browns, one and a half cups of sharp shredded cheddar cheese or whatever cheese, one box of chicken broth, one can cream of chicken, one block cream cheese softened, and then you're going to put bacon bits in it as well. And then you're going to mix that all up and you're going to Mix it good, too, so the cream cheese will melt. And cook on high on your crock pot for three hours. So that's that recipe. So this episode has kind of been about soups, right? What is your favorite soup? Email me with all your favorite soup recipes. I can't wait to hear what you guys like to eat when it's soup time. I like soup anytime, but especially in the fall. Um, and the winter and sometimes spring. Spring mornings are very cold and they put you in a soup mood. Um, so that is going to be all for today's episode. I know this today was a short one, 
and I'm sorry about that. Usually my episodes are about 20 minutes to 25 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. This one's a little shorter, and I want to apologize for the sound of my voice. I've had a little allergy or cold. I think it was somewhat allergies, you know? The mornings are still really cold, and then it warms up, and so I think it's just that. So sorry if my voice sounds a little sick. Um... So I want to thank you for joining me on my second episode of Everyday Living Recipes with Love podcast, and I will see you next time, and I can't wait to share the next recipe with you. Thank you so much. See you next time.